Alright, I am at Spring Green, Wisconsin, at Taliesin, the home and studio of Frank Lloyd Wright. Uh, so, I can't take video, I don't think, on the tour, but luckily this Frank Lloyd Wright house does allow photography inside and I have to pay a bunch of extra money. So this building is the Frank Lloyd Wright Visitor Center, where the tour starts. The Visitor Center is inside the 1953 Riverview Terrace restaurant designed by Frank Lloyd Wright. First Lady Lady Bird Johnson visited Taliesin and the restaurant in 1967. There is also a gift shop with extremely expensive Frank Lloyd Wright merch. The home and the restaurant are built on the banks of the Wisconsin River. You have to take a bus to the home. You can't just walk around like I totally didn't try to do before the tour. Frank Lloyd Wright is definitely one of my favorite architects. He was born in Wisconsin in 1867, and he's famous for his designs in the Prairie School and Usonian styles. Taliesin was his primary home and studio throughout his life. The Wright family had owned this land, and his maternal grandfather was one of the first settlers in the area, so that is one of the reasons why he moved here from his practice in Oak Park, Illinois. There have actually been three Taliesins built on the site. The first one pictured here was completed in 1911, but in 1914, things went really bad. Julian Carlton, who was a servant there, went totally paranoid, and on August 12, 1914, he used this hatchet to kill Wright's lover, Mama Borthwick, her two children, and six other employees at Taliesin. He also burnt the home to the ground. Frank Lloyd Wright was not there, though. Wright was obviously devastated, but he did recover, and he decided to build a new Taliesin on the exact same site. But, in 1925, the wiring at Taliesin 2 got hit by lightning, and it burned to the ground. Though in serious debt, he built a third Taliesin, the one standing today, and finished it in 1927. The Taliesin Fellowship is an architecture school at Taliesin. The building is designed by Wright. Unfortunately, they weren't doing tours of it while I visited. Wright had this uh, lake and waterfall constructed. I think this was the first house in the area to have electricity. And this is the drive up to the house. The landscape is very hilly and really windy. It was so cold up there. But that windmill is the Romeo and Juliet windmill designed by Frank Lloyd Wright in 1896 for his aunt who lived in the house. This is one of the outbuildings. It does look very Frank Lloyd Wright-esque, probably because it was designed by him, but a family actually lives in some parts of the Taliesin complex. That must be really cool to live here. Behind the main house and studio is kind of a sunken garden, and uh, down here uh, you're free from the wind, except from the top of my head because I'm tall, uh, and that statue is a replica because it kept getting destroyed from the winds. Uh, and that is a bell from Japan. This is the back side of uh, the house complex. I think the family lives back here. And there's an old fuel dispenser, so that's really cool. Taliesin is still a work in progress it is still being restored because frank lloyd wright houses are very hard to keep up 
you can see there's some damage there from the old tree that they had to cut down to fix all that so that's why the tour is so freaking expensive this is the interior of the studio he would make all his plans for his buildings in this room there is a fireplace there are a lot of fireplaces and that is a portrait of his mother and that is his original desk his chairs were always very low to the ground as you'll see throughout the house throughout the house you will see many Asian antiquities mainly from Japan like that is a Buddha that's several hundred years old And this is the main living room inside of the home. As you can see, it has a very high ceiling, as well as a dining area, and all sorts of low sofas and chairs, along with Asian antiquities and Buddhas. With all the emphasis on uh, rocks and stones, that uh, are native from that area he always liked his buildings to blend in with nature and that is a bust of Frank Lloyd Wright And this is the kitchen, it also seems to blend in with the natural surroundings. This was the bedroom of his third power craving wife, Olga Vanna. And that is a area up there for the kids to play. That would have been really fun as a kid, I bet. And this is another sitting room. And those blue chairs are actually catalog ordered. He didn't design those, but he cut the legs short. And there are authentic Japanese illustrated panels in this room. This is the only fireplace that I've ever seen like that. It's very interesting and it goes in two rooms. And that is another authentic Japanese panel that is massive. He actually was in a lot of debt because he bought all these uh, Japanese panels and antiquities. This room was a library and study area. Taliesin has also been designated a National Historic Landmark. I believe this room was Frank Lloyd Wright's bedroom they must have shared with Olga Vanna. But now I'm very interested to see Taliesin West in Scottsdale, Arizona, his summer home that he built later on, probably because it's so cold here in the winter.
And this is another sitting room area. I like the blue carpet with that stone that kind of looks like the water. They use that in falling water. That is his signature block which he has in some of his houses. And this was a vineyard. Well, I hope you enjoyed my footage of Taliesin. This is a really cool place to visit. One of the best Franklin Wright houses I've been to. So thanks for watching.